Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to cycle your tank. Cycling your tank refers to creating bacteria colonies that are part of the nitrogen cycle that are going to convert your fish waste from ammonia to nitrite into nitrate and make the water safe for your fish. It's really important to get those bacteria colonies established so that your fish don't die in their own waste. Cycling your tank can take around six weeks, but that depends on pH, temperature, the environment your tank is in, how much you're feeding your fish and how many fish you have. We're gonna talk about how to test for four important things that will let you know where your tank is in the whole process of the nitrogen cycle. So those four things are pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. And we can test for those four things using the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. All right guys, I'm gonna show you how to test the pH within your system. It's important to rinse your test tubes out with water ahead of time to make sure there's no contamination between your last tests. We like to use a syringe to make it easier to get the tank water up to the five milliliter line that's required on your test tube. So I'll take the syringe, we're gonna pull out some tank water and fill to this five milliliter line. So the API Freshwater Master Test Kit is really simple. Basically, you wanna make sure your bottles are well, well shaken. You wanna shake for at least 30 seconds. This one's already pre-shaken. And then each bottle is gonna have a little drop that'll tell you how many droplets you wanna have for the test. For the pH test, it's three drops. You can follow the instructions within the test kit for further information, but we'll go ahead and put three drops in here. One, two, three. Then we're gonna put our cap back on and we're gonna shake it for five to 10 seconds. So now you wanna check the test in natural light so you get a good idea of what the color is in your color chart. So that's looking like 7.6. You're going to want your pH to be between 6.5 and 7.4. That's kind of a balance for what the plants, the bacteria, and the fish like. If it's higher than that right now, don't worry. Your pH is going to come down as your nitrogen cycle takes place within the tank. As a side note, the API Freshwater Master Test Kit comes with a pH test and a high range pH test. Don't get confused, but the high range pH test is just an extension of the pH test. So if you get a 7.6 reading, it doesn't necessarily mean that your pH is 7.6. It might mean that you hit the top of the scale. So then you can move to the high range pH test to get a more accurate reading. So now we'll talk about ammonia. Your fish make waste in the form of ammonia and it's very toxic to fish. So you wanna test for ammonia daily when your system is starting to cycle because you don't want the level of ammonia to get too high and damage your fish. Okay, so now we're gonna pick up our test kit again and test for ammonia. You'll wanna take the bottle labeled ammonia test solution number one and put eight drops of the solution into your test tube. Then repeat this process with the bottle labeled ammonia test solution number two. Apply the cap, shake the test tube for five to 10 seconds, and then wait for five minutes to see the results. The first step in the nitrogen cycle is your nitrifying bacteria eating the ammonia that your fish make as waste and turning it into nitrite. However, Ammonia is toxic to fish and so is nitrite. So our aim here is to have your bacteria show up, convert the ammonia into nitrite, and then your second set of bacteria will show up, eat that nitrite and convert it into nitrate, which is not very toxic to fish. So now we're gonna test for nitrite because we wanna keep an eye on it and not have too much in there to make it, make it toxic for your fish. You'll take the bottle labeled nitrite test solution and put the solution into your test tube. Apply the cap and shake the test tube for five to 10 seconds. Then wait five minutes to see the results and match to the color on your chart again. You'll notice that your ammonia is going down as the bacteria are eating it and your nitrite is going up as the bacteria are turning it into nitrite. If your nitrite gets above one PPM for longer than three days, you wanna do a partial water change, about 20 to 30% to protect your fish. Also, you might want to stop feeding or cut down on your feeding. We want to go through the step of the nitrogen cycle and end up with nitrate as quickly as possible. We don't want to have ammonia and nitrite in your system for too long. The way you know your system is completely cycled is when your ammonia and your nitrite read zero, and that means you have a population of bacteria that's large enough 
to handle all of the waste the fish are producing and turn it into nitrate before it's toxic for the fish. Okay, so now we'll test for nitrate. Again, make sure your bottles for every test are very well shaken, otherwise your results might get a little weird. There's two bottles in the nitrate test. We'll take the first one labeled nitrate test solution number one, and we're gonna put 10 drops of the solution in your test tube. You'll cap the test tube and you'll shake it for five to 10 seconds. You wanna make sure it's well mixed. Before you add your second bottle labeled nitrate test solution number two, and you'll put your cap back on and shake it for five to 10 seconds. Then we're gonna wait for five minutes before we look at our color chart and see what our results are. Okay, so now we've been trying to cycle our tank for a few weeks. The fish have been producing waste in the form of ammonia. The first set of nitrifying bacteria have showed up. They eat the ammonia, they've turned it into nitrite. Now we have our second set of nitrifying bacteria that have showed up to eat the nitrite and turn it into nitrate. Now remember, ammonia and nitrite are toxic to fish. We don't want those in our system once everything is fully cycled. And we do want nitrate because that's gonna be the fertilizer for our plants. We want our ammonia and our nitrite levels to be zero. And our nitrate levels can be anywhere from five to about 80. Remember, you can speed up this whole process with a higher temperature because your bacteria are gonna replicate faster under a higher temp. So if you have a heater, go ahead and put it in your tank. Just make sure that your temperatures are in an optimal range for your fish. You don't wanna cook them. Your levels of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate can be lowered if you feed your fish less or have less fish. The rates can be increased if you have more fish or are feeding them more. You wanna carefully monitor your levels so that your fish stay healthy, but you're able to get the levels needed to cycle your tank. Don't worry about not feeding your fish for a couple days, they're gonna be fine. If you're new to all this, it might be a lot to take in, but it's really important that you understand how the nitrogen cycle works within your tank and that you have your tank cycled and your bacteria colonies established. Bacteria are just as important in aquaponics as fish and plants. So it's not just fish and plants, you have to have the bacteria in there or, or else the whole system doesn't work. We hope you learned a lot from this video, guys. If you have any other questions, we have a lot of information and manuals you can download on our website. If you learn more about your EcoCycle, it's gonna help you enjoy it a lot more. And you can always ask us questions in the comments or, or email us, we'll be glad to help you out.